Hi everyone. So welcome back. And my name is Charmaine. And today I'm going to share with you on how to create augmented reality in Unity. Okay. So this is a sample of my work. So later on I will give pass you the links to get engaged with your with the template that I'm using now. Okay. So after we will have a few videos to conduct and you will see my my game. This is actually using Unity to create the the game, the augmented reality. So you will see this coming out. There will be a video and an image inside. Alright. So I will demonstrate on the VR app. Okay. So once you run the game, And here, I have two photos. Okay, so I can see when I put this Chinese one, it will come out a video. Okay, this is the video. Okay, so next will be the English one. So English one, there will be a photo consists of the grammar. Alright, quite amazing, right? So let us proceed to on how to make the app. Okay. So let us get started with the AR project. So before you actually add the project, let us keep in mind that you need to add the Euphora, Euphora module inside. So currently, I am using 2018, but feel free to use the later version if you would like to. So if you guys don't know how to download Unity Hub, you will follow my link below or the card through your desktop to get access to my Unity videos. So now, um, I will I will use this 2018 as a sample for you. So uh, right here, just press add module, and then look for the Euphora augmented reality support. All right. So I already downloaded, but if you haven't download, just click this and install it. Okay. So after that, we will create a new new AR project and here we just uh, have the AR project 2 okay so let us take for a while so let us get started on building the unity um, AR in Unity. So, so first and foremost, let us head to the game object and then look for the Euphora engine and press the AR camera. Alright, so now you will see there's a camera right there. So next is to delete off this main camera because we are not using it. Alright, so okay. Now let us add the images. So from this AR camera, let's add the image from the Euphora engine. Okay. So now you will see this astronaut thing, astronaut um, oh, our stuff, but that's not what we want. Okay. So um, as you can see from here that they request us to add the player setting in order to modify this object. So therefore, let us head to the files and then press the build setting and then let us head to the player setting 
So as you can see from here, from my right, let us take this, this SR setting, okay? To, okay, then if you, in, you wanted to add as an Android right now, you are feel free to do so. I would add this now. You will switch the platform. Okay, so we had um there's some um, you hey, sorry if you press this your for augmented reality support okay and then this one we will add this scene which is the sample scene right here okay so I will close this and then let us proceed to add the photos inside all right so let us head to the image target. And then we will, as you can see here, we add target, all right? Let us press the add target. So add target, it will bring us to here, to this website. So for this website, you have to register first, if you are a uh, first, First time member here. So here I already registered. So I will show you guys the process. But um seems to be I still need to log in again. Okay. Let us see. So you see, as you can see, I already added my database. So I will, uh, I will tell briefly tell you guys what you should be, what's the end result from this website once you register, uh, once you um, add the database. So we will have this license key below, okay, and then a few things here. So let us head, get started. Okay, so from here, let us get the development key. So actually that's free of charge. So I will put maybe a uh, tutorial or your project name. So my our project name is AR project two. Okay. So okay, let us this uh agree with the terms and condition and then that's it. So okay, we already have the license key. Let us copy that. Okay, it's already been copied. So, okay. We will add this to the configuration. So, let us head to back to the AR camera and then open the Euphora engine configuration. And then, as you can see, there's this app license key on the top right here. So let us control V and add the license. Okay. So I think for now, the system already added your, your license manager's key. So we can add the photos now. So here I'm going to add something that I had done from Canva. So it is the, these two photos, one is Baza China and Baza English, okay? Which is English and Chinese language. So let us head back to our this part. So let us enter this and then head to the target manager, okay? So let us add the database. I can. You can see I already have one database here. I will show you the samples of what is inside. So that will be um, the name of your images 
and then the rating. So rating is means like how the image have been targeted. So for now, my two images are in good shape, which means it is very accurate. So let us head back and create our new database. So let us add the database and then we'll put AR project two. So remember not to space it. And it's for devices, all right. Okay, so let us add from photos. Add target. And then because now we just using the simple image, so it's not 3D or in any 3D object. So from now, let us browse our stuff. Get add our image. So I add the Chinese one first. So here we can use 0 0.15. Okay. So this one I just put let us add. Okay, now you have this image and it's very awesome here. Okay, so now we choose the English one as I'm going to add another one inside. Okay, so put the eye. Okay, so voila. So now you have these two. Okay. Now let us download all of them as a Unity editor. Okay. So let us download. If you have any issues to upload the images, feel free to leave down the comments and please mention what is the problem. Don't say it's just you are having problems and you didn't mention what is the problem and you, how you expect me to understand what you are trying to tell me. You just say you have problems. Yes, the thing. So now, as you can see, the import Unity package is out. Okay. So let us press the import. Okay. So let us head back to the AR camera. Okay. Let us go here. So now, okay, let us switch our database to AR project 2. Okay. So as you can see, you will get to see these images right here. And then from here, let us add the quadrant. Okay. So you will see that this white screen right here. Okay. So you want to adjust this according to the location of the images. So this one, let us have the rotation to 90 degree. And then this one is 0 0.9 or maybe 0 0.8, okay. So I will start with adding the video first, okay. So here, let us add the, add the video, add the quadrant, okay, add the quadrant. So there was this video player. Okay. So this is just for video player. However, I haven't added the video. Hold on a sec. So this is the video. So I control C. Then control V. Oh my word as well, just drag. Hold on. Uh. Okay, I will just drag inside. Then I might as well also drag this is inside as well. The image, the other image. Okay. 
So, okay, let us head to the quadrant. And then, there's not much for you to add on. Just drag the video. Hold on, I'm um, sorry. Just drag the video into here. Okay. So now, let us try it out. So right now, you will hear this thing. However, actually, I, I kind of jumbled up the images, but it's okay. We will edit it later. It's just for learning. Okay, uh, I will use this, and you will see there's a video will be coming out from here. Okay, so we done this first part, which is for video. Okay, and for the next session, we will learn how to add image inside. Okay, thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like to my video. Thank you.